I'm out of here. You ready to get closed up? Yeah, give me just one second. I'm finished reading some of these emails. We had a guy that's wanting me to do a video for his son for his birthday. Something about floating in the water with a life jacket and says, can you please try to sit on an inflatable life vest, half inflated for the entire stream for my son's birthday request. Yeah, I think we can do something like that. Let's go have some fun. Let's do it. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Way well, you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I got a really quick impromptu video. We don't really do requests like we used to in the past, but we're gonna go ahead and start those back. I got a special request from Bobby Wallace who wants me to make a video for his son's birthday. Uh, his son's name's Ryan Lee, so happy birthday, Ryan. This video is gonna be for you. Now his request is kind of unique. He wants me to take an inflatable life jacket, Unfortunately, I don't have one of those. I do have a doggy life jacket. It goes on your dog. And he wants me to float out in the water while sitting on the life jacket during the stream of the video. So I thought, what better topic or educational experience can we get from floating out here in this water on a life jacket than to talk about Archimedes Principle and why it works. And I wanna give you a little bit of history lesson of how we've dealt with Archimedes Principle throughout the history of scuba diving from no BCs to BCs to why do we even wear a BC. Now, for any of our viewers out here watching, it is the first week in March. This water's still probably in the high 40s. It's extremely cold and I decided not to do this in a wetsuit just for the heck of it. So I'm gonna jump in real quick and we're gonna learn a little bit more about Archimedes Principle. Holy crap. Woo. That is cold. To be honest, I'm not even sure this life jacket is going to float me or not. Woo. Hold on a second. Nope. Don't want to get my hat wet. Woo. Brian, buddy, this is for you. I really hope you have a great birthday. Oh, that's cold. All right. Let's sit on this thing. Let's learn a little bit about, yeah, it's definitely not gonna float. Let's learn about Archimedes Principle. Archimedes Principle basically tells us that any object placed in a liquid, especially water, is gonna be lifted up or buoyed up by the equal amount of weight of the water that it displaces. So let's say that it displaces one cubic foot of fresh water, happens to be fresh water. If that object weighs 62.4 pounds, which is 62.4 pounds is one cubic foot of fresh water, then it's gonna be neutrally buoyant. If it weighs anything less, it's gonna float. If it weighs anything more, then of course it's gonna sink. We know that if it floats, it's gonna be positively buoyant. If it sinks, it's negative. And of course in the middle is what we wanna be as divers, that's neutrally buoyant. Now, cool little history lesson for you. You know, back in the day, we didn't wear weights necessarily to go under. We wore weights to counterbalance the positive buoyancy or the positive buoyancy characteristics of a wetsuit. And back in, say, the 50s and 60s, we didn't really have BCDs of any type. So we had to wear weights to counterbalance that, and we had to make sure that we were properly weighted for the depth that we were going to. If you were going to 70 feet, you had to weigh for 70 feet. If you was going to 30 feet, you had to weight yourself for 30 feet. Nowadays, we wear BCDs to counterbalance the weight itself. So the weight counterbalances the buoyancy of the wetsuit, the BC counters the, uh, the buoyancy of the weight itself, and that way we can manipulate our buoyancy at any given depth. Whether we're at the surface, we're down on the bottom, or we're just neutrally buoyant, we can always manipulate that buoyancy at any given time, and that's the purpose of the BCD. But Ryan, once again, buddy, I hope you have a really fun birthday today. Unfortunately, this didn't float me, and we don't have any inflatable life jackets here, so like I said, I just hope you have a great birthday. Guys, if you got any video requests like this, you want to see us do something goofy so that you guys can get better educated as a diver, drop me a comment down below, and we'll try to make a video for you. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and get signed off. I'm extremely cold. I'm going to get in here and get warmed up. So until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.